Well, I was going to come outside and do some work today, but I ain't got no diesel in the tractor. Can't do much with the tractor without diesel, so I got to run to town and get diesel. Same time, I have to pick up Miles from school, so that works out. Let's go. Now, I haven't been sitting at home just doing nothing. As y'all know, there's always inside work and outside work to be done. So, what I got done inside was a lot of laundry, a lot of cleaning, obviously, every day. And I baked some banana chocolate muffins. Now, those came out really good. Not as good, I think, in my humble opinion, not as good as my apple cinnamon muffins, but pretty dang close. So those are like a second favorite, a second place favorite, I think, in my mind. And to some kids that I've given them to and some family members and people that I've had try them, some, some say that that's their favorite. I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's a preference thing. But uh, banana nut muffins are really good. It's just that apple cinnamon will always hold a place in my heart as the top favorite, as the number one. But I did make muffins today. I did uh, feed my sourdough today. I did a little bit of uh, cooking and kitchen prep work and stuff. Because today, I don't know if y'all know this, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but today is our second in line daughter's Lily's birthday. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, <laughs> but it's Lily's 15th birthday. For those of you who have been following and keeping up with us, y'all know who Lily is and she turns 15 today. So um, she gets whatever dinner she wants. That's how we do it at our house. That's traditionally what we do. What, whenever anybody has a birthday, they get whatever dinner they want. No holds barred. You get the meal that you want, no matter what it is. We will move heaven and earth to make your favorite meal. So Lily, uh, I don't know if this is like quite her favorite meal, but it's something that she's been craving that she didn't get yet this holiday season that she really want to have is Wes's homemade mac and cheese. Now, everybody, just like your spaghetti recipe and everything else, Everybody's got their own recipe, their own homemade way to do homemade mac and cheese. Well, Wes does it a certain way and Lily loves it. That's her favorite. Top, hands down her favorite way to have it done. So since it is her birthday, she has requested Daddy make her lovely homemade mac and cheese, which we will be having for dinner. We just have to figure out what else we're going to have. So we asked her if she wanted like a meat or a veggie to go with it. We haven't gotten an answer back on that yet. So we'll figure out something good to go along with that homemade mac and cheese like some sort of greenery or some ham or something you know we'll we'll figure out a whole meal plan but we're gonna have a lot of people over for dinner tonight big big pan of that homemade mac and cheese we're gonna feed everybody we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have a lot of socialization tonight but so that's why that hints all the housework and the cleaning and the tidying and the prepping um but i do have some outside things that need some attention that i just i've been putting it off for far too long I have some outside things that need to be done and it requires some diesel so that's why i am making sure that i had loaded the diesel can in the truck before i ran to get miles from school and the girls and their and lily's boyfriend will not make it back to our house until after five so that's the time frame i'm looking at it's like two o'clock in the afternoon right now so i'm looking at <laughs> a time frame of when i get home at about three um, up until about 5, 5.30, that's the time frame I have to work outside. So only a short window of time to get on that tractor and get done what I got to do. So let's get it, y'all. Let's book it. Now that we're back home, the geese are following me. <laughs> They're chasing me and honking at me. All right, let me go out to the truck and get the diesel can that I got filled up with five gallons of diesel and put it in the tractor and see how far that gets me. Hi, babies. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay.
Now here's the part where I use my handy dandy pickaxe. This is my weapon of choice <laughs> or tool of choice. I should say tool, not weapon. This is my tool of choice that I use for any sort of like uh, excavating, digging in the ground, digging things up. I find more bricks. I find more stepping stones. I dig them up with this because it just wedges it out of the ground so well and just helps me out a lot. So I love my handy dandy pickaxe. Let's get to it. Guys, I appreciate the inspection, but I don't need the help, guys. I really don't. I know y'all follow me everywhere, but I don't need the help, babies. I didn't need the help. So, guys, this is what I have so far. Y'all see these pathway stones? This is what I found in the dirt right here. Just because it was sticking up above ground level, it was sticking above the dirt where I could see it. I'm sure there's plenty more out here. <laughs> plenty of stuff hiding under this dirt out here. And there were, uh, were apparently lots and lots of gardens and stones and bricks everywhere that are probably hiding under the soil. But I don't know until they show themselves, until I see it sticking above the soil and then I come and get it. So this is what I found for today. <laughs> so I need to gather these up and this is going to go in my pretty little protege. It's going to be part of my pathway. So as I find more, I'll start gathering more. I do feel so blessed to have a tractor y'all so grateful for this thing like I'm living that tractor life and like how did I get by without it <laughs> how did I ever do this sort of lifestyle without a tractor I don't know <laughs> and my ancestors and those that came before me were able to do it you know with just some horse and plow and I, I can't imagine y'all I can't imagine Oh, it was, it was really hard, but I'm so, so grateful now to have the blessing of a tractor in my life. And right now I'm loving the tractor and all of its blessings even more because I don't have to carry these pathway stepping stones over there to put them where they go. This tractor is going to do it for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and dump these stones where they go and then I can move on to my next task. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have a treat. I don't have any treat. I'm sorry. But thank you. Yeah. Thank you for all your help. I know. She says, you're welcome. You're such a good help. You're a good baby. Thank you. You will probably notice that all of our goats are in this goat area, in the big area. Not in the little goat area on the other side of the hay bale, in this big area. <laughs> that was a good jump, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry, I missed part of it. That was a good jump, ma'am. Good job. Yeah, all the goats are in here together. And that is because <laughs> the little goats, I'm looking at you, Sprite, and you, Leah. The little goats uh, decided that they didn't like that little area no more. They wanted to be in here with everybody. They wanted to be in here with their man. So they started escaping and escaping and escaping. <laughs> so, rather than have to chase them down or risk them getting out or um, risk them ha getting hurt or tangled in netting or whatever, we decided to go ahead and grant their wish. And so now they're in here with the whole herd. Everybody's together. Everybody's warm and snuggy and safe and sound. 
And the babies are doing great. I love the babies. Look. Oh, I hear you. I see you. Oh, babies are happy. Oh, I love me some babies. I see you. I see you, Tater Tot. I know. I love you. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, pretty. My sweet Leah. And my sweet baby Sprite. I still love y'all, little badnesses. Little escape artist. I still love you. Pretty man, what you doing? You watching the goats? Hanging out with your ladies and your women? Pretty man. Oh, I love me some pretty man. I love me some pretty rooster. Rooster man. He freezes and listens every time I make sounds at him. He'll watch me and listen to me. I know, I know. You tell him, baby. You tell him. Favorite chicken of all time, Mama Frizzle. The one who was with us from the beginning. Who kind of started it all. Mama Frizzle. Call her Frizzle Frazzle when I pick on her. <laughs> You're pretty, Mama Frizzle. I love you. She's probably the oldest chicken that we have now. She's uh, the only Frizzle, the curly feathered chicken that we have. I want some more Frizzles. Um, but she's beautiful. And she's so, so sweet and such a good mama. And like I said, she's been with us through thick and thin. Had some close calls with her and brought her back. Back online and back to health. But she is a trooper. She's a survivor. She's by far my favorite chicken on this whole homestead. A beautiful mama frizzle. Looking good today, lady. Yeah, stay warm. Stay nice and puffy. Okay, well, <laughs> time got away from me, as usual. Ran out of time. And, oh, watch out, sweetie. Almost tripped over sweet biscuit. Sweet biscuit basket. So... About run out of time. We are cooking like crazy, trying to get this homemade mac and cheese and dinner ready. Um, the kids will be here soon. I've done all the house cleaning I can do. And the one thing I got done outside was I got those stepping stones moved. I'm gonna call that an achievement. <laughs> and I'm gonna praise myself for that and say, good job, I got something outside done. I got a lot inside done. <laughs> but that's an accomplishment for today. That's okay, that's good enough. If I did one thing today, if I got one thing marked off the list for today, that is satisfactory to me. So I'm going to get in this kitchen and help Wes and get busy making this lovely birthday dinner. And then uh, I think that'll end our video. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.